friends, in the 8,000 years of recorded history, this is a first. You are now online with an alien intelligence. You gotta be kidding. You must have messed up the translation. No, I don't think so. If this translation is right, this alien sounds like an idiot. Well, that's something to consider, a stupid alien. Well, I must have him. Well, I will admit the message is a little childlike, but actually it's quite perfect. I mean, it's short, to the point, non-threatening. Kind of the way you talk to a small child or a dog. What is this? He's making a speech. name what i want a full name for my report i'm not putting in my report that i lost a crew member on a deep set expedition to find an alien named jerry please jerry harry, harry i think it's home that we're enjoying it too that's the one he's from where are you from i make a journey you make a journey we make a journey together I think Jerry's channeling Deepak Chopra. <laughs> Journey from where? Huh. He's happy. He's crafty. What happened? Oh, damn. I think we lost him. We are definitely not alone. Harry, it's trying to make contact with us. Well, whatever it is, it was inside that sphere. Now it's out and free to act. What do you mean by that? Free to take over our computers, free to call us on the phone, free to come over and knock on the door if it wants to. <gasps> Physical presence. What are you thinking about, Norman? That last part where he said, I am happy. Well, don't you want Jerry to be happy, Norman? Honestly? Yeah, what's on your mind? I would be happy if Jerry had no emotions whatsoever. Because the thing of it is, once you go down that road, here's Jerry, an emotional being cooped up for 300 years with no one to talk to. None of the socialization, the emotional growth that comes from contact with other emotional beings. So, what happens if Jerry gets mad?